Hey everybody, it's Tioka with Vagabond Culture. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you're notified every time I post a new video. We have just arrived to Honduras. We'll be going to Costa Rica, maybe about an hour. Hey, what's up? Sorry the picture is so dark. I am in the plane and we are on our way to Costa Rica. Finally, after our layover in Honduras, Eduardo's filling out his customs paperwork. Most countries require travelers to complete a custom declarations form or custom and border protection form upon entering and exiting the country, which provides basic information like who and what you're bringing into the country. One thing I can't stress enough is to always enjoy yourself but never forget where you are, meaning you ain't at home. The rules are different, the culture is different, the environment is different. There was so much about Zika awareness when we arrived that we were so sure to protect ourselves. So let me break it down. We learned a couple things while we were staying in San Jose. Number one, rainy season is between May and November. So with us being there in August, it rained every single day. And when I say every day, I mean every day around the same time. Two, because Costa Rica is near the equator, darkness falls between uh, 5.30 and 6.30 all year round. With that being said, most of the business is closed between 3 and 6. So, if you're not an early bird, you're going to miss out on a lot of things because by the time you get up, get dressed, get out, you've missed a lot of the day. Last but not least, most of the city is congested and populated. So, if you're interested in renting a car but not comfortable in driving in those types of conditions, that's definitely something to consider. We're on our way to the beach and I'm sure you can see right now by the views and everything that there's no doubt that beauty resides here. It's wonderful. You have mountains, you have clouds, you have nature, beautiful trees, everything you can think of. So we're about 39 miles away from the beach, but it's probably going to take two and a half, possibly three hours right now. And that's because it's one lane going in one direction and we're only going as slow as the vehicle in front of us.
you're thinking it's a trail. It might be a trail. Jinkies. Let's go see what it is. steps to get to this waterfall that you guys see here. Here goes nothing. Waterfall. It's been a crazy, crazy journey. Beautiful though. so much for tuning in and again this is Tioko at Vagabond Culture. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell that way you're notified every time I upload a new video. A special thanks to my brother Eduardo for being featured in this video.